Hey guys, before starting this video, if you guys are into building cool mobile and web applications, then make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button so that you get notified every time I upload any video. Thank you guys and do enjoy this video. So hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the first part of the upcoming Flutter video series where we will be building a fully featured Flutter e-commerce application with Firebase backend. So guys here, we will be able to add create orders and also authenticate new users and much more. So guys, if you skip or miss any of the video in this series, then you will be missing a lot of important things to know in Flutter. So guys, make sure you watch each and every video in this series. You can increase the speed of this videos if I am going too, too slow, but make sure you guys watch each and every video because it will be quite important and useful for you guys and also you guys will be building a fully featured flutter e-commerce application which will be a good a portfolio project and you will be gaining some experience with flutter and if you guys are watching this video then make sure you leave your name and email ids right under the comment section because i'll be sharing this secret flutter blueprint with you guys where uh, through which you guys will be able to learn flutter much more quickly and also build more efficient apps with lesser code so make sure you guys leave your name and your email ids into the comment section below so guys with this let us get started so first of all the app which we'll be building will have the the user interface that is the ui quite similar to right which we have over here so here we have an app bar so this will be the home page of our application where we are going to have an app bar with the title of course and with a drawer through which we, we will be able to view our recent orders and also view our profile and then we are going to have this search icon through which we will be able to search for products and also we are, we are going to have this card icon uh, which will take us to our card section or our card screen and then right here we will be uh, we will be having our category section so basically our products will be will be having a specific category so we will have to filter uh, each and every product according to their category and then we are going to have our product section in which we will be able to see the recently added products or many other different products or the top selling products and much more so guys and then we are we will also be having a, a detailed page for each and every product well where uh, there will be the uh, be a little de description and also the price of the product and then we'll be have having our card in which the user will able to view the products uh, they have added to their card and then they will be able to proceed for checkout so guys in this video series i will be using visual studio code so if you guys are using different id like android studio then do let me know in the comments if you have some difficulty following it and make sure to leave a like in this video and also to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see more videos related to flutter and also to web development so guys for the source code related to this project you will be able to find it in my github profile so make sure you visit this link which i'll be putting in the description below so you you can visit this link and get the source code for this project and also i'll be adding the changes and also updating this repository um, so that you guys will be able to follow after each and every video so uh, yes uh, do check out the link below so guys in my visual studio code i'll just hit f1 and as you guys can see i get an option which shows flutter create new project so i'll hit it and i'll just name it as flutter underscore enter and it will basically ask me to where i want to uh, store my uh, project so i'll just store it in the desktop all right so it is going to create my project and i'm just going to close this for now and i'm just going to make it bigger all right, so our project has been 
successfully created and as you guys can see this is the default flutter code which we usually get when you create a new project so we will actually not be needing this anymore so i'll just cut it so the what it was it was just a counter which uh, you guys might be familiar with so i'm going to make this uh text a bit bigger so that you guys can see it more clearly all right so i hope you guys are being ab able to see the code clearly and also i'll be keeping my em emulator out here in inside just adjust it over here and i'll also be putting this over here so that we can follow it uh, for our ui part so in this video series we will be not uh, we will not be focusing much on the user interface but we'll be focusing on the logic and the backend part but still we will give our best or we'll try our best to create a good and nice user in interface as you guys can see over here so the ui would be uh, quite simple so guys uh back in our main.dart file what i'm going to do i'm going to create a stateless widget just call it my app and it is going to return the material app widget and inside this material app first of all we'll provide a title so the title would be letter commerce all right and then we will need to provide it a team so i'll just provide a team and it will take a team data widget and inside this team data we'll actually define two colors one for our primary color one as our primary color and the other one as our accent color so primary color and uh, let's put it colors dot in and then our accent color would be dot let's give it white for now let's save it and now actually we need to create our home page first so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a new folder over here inside my lib folder so i'll just create a new folder and i'll call it as screens and inside my screens folder i'll create a new file let's call it as home page dot art and right here uh under my material app widget i'm going to define a home so home and it will be a home page widget so we have not created this widget yet so let us create it over here so what i'm going to do here is import material app material dot dart package and then here i'm going to create a stateless widget and i'll call it as a uh, home page and also i'm going to import it back over here in my main dot dart so import okay so now we have our home page linked with our material app and in inside our home page we are going to return a scaffold and inside the scaffold we are going to have a, our app bar so app bar okay now let's save it and let's try debugging our app so i'll just go to my run section or run i'll just click on run and i'll run it without debugging and i'll also open up my debug console so that we can uh, see errors if we get any over here any debugging errors and meanwhile uh, let us give a title to our app bar title text widget let's call it okay and after that for body we can uh, actually give a container for now and we are actually going to run our app and see 
what we get so let's give it a container for now all right guys so our app has been successfully loaded up so as as you guys can see we have an app bar and also the color of the app bar is uh, set to our primary color which we have defined uh, into our team inside the material app widget so yes so uh, right here uh, for our body we have the container and actually we will not be uh, needing the container we actually need uh, maybe a column or maybe a list view because we have different sections over here and also inside the list view we are uh, going to be needing another list view for our category section and it will be uh, in the horizontal direction so that we, uh, the users will be able to scroll it horizontally to view the different category options so for now let us add the drawer option over here inside our scaffold so we get an option for our drawer and then let's add a drawer let's save it and as you guys can see we have this drawer over here but inside of it we have nothing and we will be including many options over here later on but for now we will be mostly focusing on our home page so guys over here we are actually going to have our list view so let's give a list view widget in place of our body and then inside this list view we are going to have uh, some children as you guys can see but there will actually be going to uh, be a problem because the list view uh, takes an infinite height and or usually the height of the uh, children it is being provided so we will be checking that later on and i'll be telling you guys when to uh, wrap your list view with something with a parent widget which actually has a fixed height and uh, but for now uh, let us uh, provide the children so the first children would actually be the category section and the next one would be the product section so for the category section i'll actually be creating a separate widget so actually let's just add uh, something over here to see what happens so let's give a text and let's call it category categories okay and then we'll have another text widget and we'll just call it as uh, products let's save it and let's see what we get so we get this to uh, tiny I, I think you guys will not be able to see it so I'll just make this a bit uh, larger or bigger so style and the font size would be let's say 40 possibly all right and going to copy this up and paste it right over here then save it as you guys can see we have this uh, list and we have uh, the category section and then we'll uh, we'll be having the product section but actually we are going to include the widgets uh, right here as children so right below the text of categories we're going to have our category widget uh, which we have not created it now yet for now so it is going to show an error and then un under the text of products we are going to have the product widget so we have our maybe let's call it all products all products widget so we have also not created it so that's why it is going to show an error so in the next video guys we'll be creating the category section that is we'll be uh, creating our uh, category widget and then we will be following it up with our uh, the product section, all the or the all products uh, widget. So guys, uh, do like this video and do share this video if you found it helpful. And uh, do subscribe to this channel for more videos on this series. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video.
uh, where we'll be building the category part. Until then, guys, stay tuned.